Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Go for your business ideas. I'm going to tell you what, and I've discussed myriad businesses on here and um, business practices, money, personal money management practices, all of that stuff. And, you know, even got like political in some ways. But I'm going to tell you what, though, regardless of what your idea is, go for it. Now, more than ever, we need more businesses. We need people to create businesses because of the change in social environment. Uh, people have different demands because any economy comes down to supply and demand, supply and demand. I'm going to leave this in here anyway. <laughs> It comes down to supply and demand, but what influences demand? People, what people need. Like we're at a point, people don't realize that we're at a point, we're growing out of what uh, people generally wanted. You know, spiritually, uh, the different um, genders, newer genders, uh, you know, people asserting themselves as far as their personal culture, their racial culture, everything. That's changing, that's changing what people are buying. I'll give you an example. We had a Christmas season coming up, but people don't celebrate it the same way. People don't celebrate it. That means they ain't buying as much stuff. That's, that's a cultural thing, anything. And my point is this, because of uh, less of a demand for some businesses, and then in the last episode, I talked about how many businesses that cater to uh, primarily the middle class, they're going out of business. They are going out, you know, um, like, you know, and it could be a major one because I just thought about Sears. Y'all remember Sears? And all, I mean, that was a old, old that, that was in business since I think the 1900s, I, I think. I'm not sure, but a definite long time, you know, but they went out of business, but they catered to a certain crowd. So here's my point with that. You have that crowd still, you have a crowd still there. You got people, uh, you know, children and stuff, they're getting older, they're getting involved in different subcultures, they're getting involved with different needs, you know? You, there is room for a business that caters to the new people. And, you know, what have I said before about business? Look at your crowd, look at the population, your demographics. Like they have websites where you can buy demographic reports. In fact, they probably, I'm going to be real with you, a, a really good marketing company focusing on demographics could probably tell you more about the population than the U.S. Census. Because <laughs> they get into it. They, they, they will find out everything. They go deep. They go deep and they're looking at what people are buying. You know, so you might can look at that, maybe get something there and get an idea of what's happening with people. In fact, I might just buy something. It might be a few thousand. Yeah, I can afford it. A few thousand, but it might be worth it just to know everything going on. Because then all of those people, they still need businesses. Like I'll use one example, Beard Game. Beard Game. Beard Game wasn't big years ago. And I've said this several times. I, I thought it'd just be a quick fad. I, I got a video on my main channel saying that. But now it's a major thing. It's a major thing, at least for the time being. You have people creating businesses to cater to that. So say you have an idea to cater to some trend or something that looked like it might be around. Go for it. Because if you like something, then other people will too. That's why a bit, like a community that you're dealing with is very important to know. You know, that's why I say if you're going into business, like if you going to start a brick and mortar store or something, We'll take a look around where you want where you want to set it up. But go for it. Just make sure you have some people who want it. As long as people have a demand for something, you can make money by supplying it. And it could be for the product. Because now I'm seeing a big thing is like shea butter. I remember like shea butter. Now that used to be something that, you know, the herbal tea types, you know, wearing the onks and got the hair natural used to get into. Now I can buy it at my local grocery store. <laughs> it's gotten that big. You got major corporations. They infusing shea butter into some of their products. Like I said, I, rem I, I specifically remember you had to you had to find like a Pan African type of store, or you would have to go to a vending event, 
and hope you catch it and just get a whole bunch there because you don't even know when that guy or lady or guy was going to be back. Now, you can, now I can just, I can literally walk to my local big grocery store and buy a whole bunch now. But why is that? There's a demand for it. It's a big demand. It's a big demand. So look at what's being demanded. And if you have an idea for it that can fulfill that demand, don't waste time. Jump on it now. Especially if it's like some new trend that you peeping. Especially. Jump on it. Jump on it. Because if it's something new, you could make a lot of money. Let me use, because, uh, you know, I've used a natural hair example within the African-American community. I remember that wasn't a big deal at first. Now you got you got some people making millions. You know, if you jump on like it's especially good if you can jump on something early. But just go for the idea. And even if it's not something new rising, but you have an idea for maybe an established business or established service, like you say, you know what, I want to start a publishing business. I mean, not pub, you know, publishing too. That's always there, but pub plumbing. Okay. Well, that's always going to stay there. Everybody got everybody going to flush their toilet. And anybody who don't, hey, that's a business to expand to them too. <laughs> if they still using our houses, hey, hey, you know, I can put an indoor plumbing in and everything. Hey, business. See, that's the thing. Just go for it. Don't hold back. We living in a time now. This it really isn't flux business wise. This is probably the best time, best opportunity. In fact, I've known some people who might have gotten laid off a job or something like that, and they started a business. A lot of, a lot of very successful businesses started out because uh, the person got laid off a job, even fired from a job, or sometimes they might just leave. They couldn't take the job anymore, and they jumped into something. Go for it. Don't, don't hold back. You know, study everything you need to do, get the licenses and everything, whatever you got to do. But go for it. You probably have a gold mine right there. A gold mine. I'll use another example. I've used this before. Vegan. The vegan, I mean, they figure 8% of Americans. No, it's 8% of African Americans, 6% of all Americans who are vegan. And I know of uh, one vegan place, Slutty Vegan. I'm going to put a, a, hold on, let me write that down. Link for Slutty Vegan. They expanding like crazy. They are expanding like crazy. And why? And think about it. If only 6% of the American population is vegan. Shoot, if you can get it up to 50, as that expands, you can make a lot of money. They slutty vegans, shoot. They, they probably be like the McDonald's of vegans. Veganism, vegan food. You know? And one quick thing about food, uh, everybody eat it. So, because Slutty Vegan is black owned, at least for now. At least for now, they're talking about going public, giving stock and everything. But, you know, even then, money, 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 money. But go for your business idea. You, you, you might be sitting on a gold mine, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. Y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money.